make kind of hard is make kind of pressing in my schools. What can I do? You know, the pressing in the And it can be just praising the Lord and praising the Lord and praising the Lord. And I was thinking when the kids sang that song a while ago about I never shall forget the day. Yeah. You know, that song is so wonderful to me because I don't want to ever. As long as I'm in my right mind. Right. You know, the Lord's sake. No. Uh-huh. You know, I didn't get saved the first time I hit the altar. You know, right. I, you know I've always known a song like that. It took me a couple of days. But when yeah. the Lord moved for me and I realized I was saved, there was just. It sucked. You cannot describe no. bubbling up and that joy yeah. that just was bubbling up and that endeavor as long as I live. The Lord loves you. I give it that day to the Savior. And I thank you for that joy and peace and the hope, you know, that you yeah. did. Yeah. You know, I got to a place that I was miserable. There was no hope. You know, I knew all I was hopeless and I'm going to die and go to hell. You know, being that. The Lord gave me hope and gave me peace and peace gave me a wonderful yeah, life. Yeah, have that, Lord. I can never be there. I'm yeah, that's right. I didn't even get the way I was going to say.
little shelter. My wife there. She's been here. But today makes three days that she's had a headache. <laughs> <laughs>
go down there. Yeah. You want the Holy Ghost? You want the baptism of the Holy Ghost? I'm gonna bring you up. Amen. Because I've told our people before, we need the Holy Ghost to stand in the day that's coming. Praise the Lord. Amen. Do you still want Him? Do you still want Him? Come on. Jesus preferred the Holy Ghost to He and Him. We call Him it. Come on. Come on. He said, I'm going to say, oh, what? So He will come. He will come. Pray the Lord. Said, I'm not going to come. Well, I'm going to do for us to just loosen up just a little bit. Stop being afraid of one another. Stop being afraid of Him. I'll get in and have my move. You should love the Spirit of the Lord. You're going to love what the Lord does. If you love the Holy Ghost, you love what the Holy Ghost does. Amen. You ain't going to be afraid of what He's going to do, but you're going to get in and get a hold of something for yourself. Praise the Lord. God, don't ever let me forget where it brought me from and where I'm going. You know, say, I'm pretty to you. How many songs we have singing tonight about heaven? Going on, going home. Amen. I'll put it on you. Sister started out, if that don't make you want to go to heaven, I don't know if I'll do Praise God, I tell you one thing makes me want to go. There's a lick of fire waiting on the other end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. And the hell waiting at the end of that, they, make, they burn with fire and brimstone. If that don't make you want to go to heaven, I don't know what does. Come on. Here we are tonight. Yeah. Homecoming time. It's so good to see different ones that sell with us. My brothers, you're welcome. If, if you've ever felt in your life that Daddy don't love you, don't care about you, that is a lie for me. I love every one of you. I want to see the Lord get upon you and help you. Hey, mother, sister, you still have it tonight. You still have that love preacher man talked about last night. And you still got that joy. Sister talked about when the Lord saved her. She talked about
And I could feel, you say what you want, I could feel the Holy Ghost coming at me. Yeah. And I thought how that fell on me that night. And I want to tell you something. I'm not taking that away from what the Lord's ever moved on me to do. Uh -huh. But that is the most and the greatest that I have ever felt while serving the Lord. And there's a voice that spoke to me. He said, this is just a small part of how he's feeling. Now the Lord knows exactly what to say and when to say it. When I heard your words, Come on. and I realized I could not even begin to imagine the, the reward that waits for the saints of God on the other side. Strength begin to come back to me. Joy begin to come back to me. And I begin to realize my life is not in a land, but my life is in God. You say, preacher, it's dark in this world. This world is a bad shape. God's in good shape. God's in good shape. Don't put your stock in this ever getting better in this life. This, is, this place, all this is going to burn. But for the saints of God, if I can go down and be faithful to the end and go down with this in my life, the same thing that has carried me through the years serving God will bring me back up out of that grave. Come on! This should tell you just a little bit. Don't ever forget. Don't forget where God brought you from, but don't forget where you're going. All the splendor and the good things of God lie ahead for the children of God. You said we want it. And we want it. I say, bless be the name of the living God. Yeah, yeah. Lord, Lord. Bless be the name Lord, of the living God. Lord. Hey. Right. The living God. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Praise yeah. the Lord. Yeah. The living God. Yeah. Hallelujah. You heard what I was telling. I'm going to tell it too. Uh, we know one of the little Asian kind of food places and they have a little, a little bubble belly fellow sitting there. Yeah. And, and I thought they had little things laying around it. Yeah. And, Put things and get to it, and, and kind of look into it, and that was their God. Yeah. And I thought their God. They had to go along every now and then. They got to dust him off. Yeah. Uh, and they looked like they had to give things to him. And something dead that had no life in it, no life, no life whatsoever in it. And I begin to think about how blessed that I was. Yeah. That I've got a God, and He don't get dusty, brother. No, I don't have to dust him off. No. I don't have to give him a piece of money. No. Come on, I don't have to pick him up and carry him where they want to go. But on the contrary, he comes along and he picks me up. And he carries me where he wants me to get to. And you just look up tonight out of your heart and pray the Lord. He ought to come by and pick you up and carry you to where you need to be in God.
control. I begin to look under the vehicle. Yeah, come on. Down behind the chicken coop. No word. I begin to look in the far corners around me. No word. And the old blue ain't got the back of the much water, but I begin to look in there. Come on. Couldn't come on. find it nowhere but the boys. I sent one up the top of the hill, one down another way. Couldn't find it nowhere. I was yelling, easy. Easy. All in my head, easy. Yeah. Come on. I begin to go neighbors, begin to come out and begin to search. Yeah. You worry, you want to talk about trouble, you want to talk about worry. Yeah. You live a little light in your life, begin to get away from you and know that young man can't hardly talk. You want to do nothing to take care of itself. Mm, you've been there all this life to protect it, and all of a sudden it's out there in the world and you don't know where it's at. Yeah. I thought I'd begin to get in the truck, begin to back up. I began to come and make it a lap around this spot, and I was yelling and screaming, Israel, sure, yeah. where are you? And I made it down here, and I thought it'd just come to me. She, she's too little to make it this far that fast. So I turned around, I began to go up on the back road where we baptized. God forbid she'd be in the river. Sure, yeah. Good climb there, began to go on up and turn around. And I thought how my, my prayer began, my yell, the name changed. And I begin to say, Jesus. Jesus. Come on, sir. Jesus. Come on, sir. I need you. I need you, Lord. I begin to turn around that little corner to come up the hill all the way up to the house. And I said, Lord, if I ever needed you in my life, I need you right now, Lord. And as I turn that truck and begin to look, my boy was standing at the top of the hill. And he had me stunned up, waving it at me. Say, we found her. Thank we found you. her. It wasn't maybe two, two and a half football fields down, but there's a little old gravel road down behind a bunch of houses. She went down that little road, and there's a little trailer at the end. There's a little woman sitting on the porch, and it had her begin to, begin to tell us about how she found her. A while back, somebody gave us a dog. Come on. And, uh, I didn't know it, but till later that when she got out, that dog saw her. Yeah. And I reckon she was following a the kid. They yeah. said, just like a little child. Yeah. 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 I thought that little, yeah. that little dog began to follow her right down there. And Heather said, Eddie said, the reason that I saw her, she was standing in that, that trap, that yard, that little brown trailer. Yeah. Said that dog was running circles around her. Yeah. Making laps around us. And I saw the dog first. All right. Yeah. Tell me tonight that the Lord can't use a dog. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm never going to you like a dog, won't you? Yeah. I'm going to tell you. Yeah. You use a dog, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. Done yet? Come on. I held a tear running down my face. She was that tear. She said, what, what happened? I said, honey, you're about to kill me. Yeah. Yeah. Next morning, yeah. They were beginning to talk to the wife. Uh -huh. He said that they're going to change the name of the road that Easy was down. He said, Why are they going to change it now? It's been the same all this time. She said, Well, the only thing I know, I'm beginning to look into it. She said, There's a registered offender that lives down that road. You're going to count the offender I'm talking about. Too, man. Oh, really? Where are they at? He lived with his sister. In a little brown trailer oh. at the end of the lane. Oh, Very hard with my baby. Come on. And a dog would run the laps around. Come on. Thank you, Lord. You think I've got something to pray the Lord about? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He said, just a coincidence. I said, Lord, I don't mean a coincidence. God in his hand on the top of it. Yeah. Oh, don't ever let me forget what you got for me, Lord. Don't let me forget the time that you stood in the gap. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. I'm going to say praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Thank you Father. You say, brother, that's what He did for you. But what He did for you, what's He done for you? Sometimes we are like He's never done nothing for us. There I took for
If y'all go over here, right? No matter how bad she meant, you never have any more. You've been good to us, children. Wow. We sit around with so loved like his Lord ain't never done nothing in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Did you say it? Yeah. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's There's your problem. Come on. That's it. That's it. Come on. Let's be the name of the living God. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Jesus told him. He said he's the God of the living. Not today.
wrong with nobody, but I thought on the way down here, they didn't kill him with stopping. And I thought on how the other spirits was coming to me today. I thought, Jesse, me and you ain't got each other's phone numbers. We ain't got each other's phone numbers. So there got to be something lined up somewhere. I just got one more and I'll get out of your way. I thought on how the Lord laid this on my heart. And I thought how I just wanted to deliver it and lay it in the take over at mine. It says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endureth forever. I thought, Jesse, me and you, we ain't got each other's phone numbers. But I thought that how this morning those scriptures was a rolling over in my head. I thought that how we didn't come down here to try to preach or try to desire the preeminence over nobody. But we came to work with you, Mark. We come to work with you, Mark. I appreciate him where he brought me from, boys. I appreciate him where he looked down one day and had mercy on the old sinner boy that was walking in the muck in the mire and he reached out his hand and he pulled me up. I appreciate him. But most of all, I thank you for putting prayer back in my home. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.
I believe we can make it, don't you? Right. I don't believe it's going to get too hard that we can't make it. I don't believe it's going to get too hard that we can't make it because the Lord promised us that we can't make it. Well, glory. Happy Well, thank you, Lord. Yeah, my brother, Lord. Well, pray, Lord. Pray, Lord. Pray, Lord. Pray, Lord. Happy Lord. Happy Lord. Pray, Lord. You don't have praise to come by. I just want to pray. Pray, Lord. 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 Pray,
them all. I'm looking, I'm looking for him. I'm looking for him to speak to me. Say, so I, I thought, I said, the Lord can let you know what to do. He can teach you what to do before you get to the house of God. Come on. Yes, amen. But McKinney, I'm looking for him to see me and say, I want you to go all the way over Yeah, right. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm looking for. God bless you, Lord. Lord, Lord. 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 Come on, brother. Y'all care about this walk a little bit? Y'all care about this walk a little bit? Sometimes he 
I said, you know, you kind of, you kind of get away just a little bit. You kind of let down on you praying and seeking the Lord. That enemy, he'll steal the faith right out of your heart. You listen to the devil then, he'll say, you can't do it. You can't do it. I said, I've been packing them two copper heads. Got a shame because I said it one time. But I told him to turn it. I said, I've got a little fear. Come on, baby. Come on, you know, a little bit of fear. Come on, but they saw me take that fear out of her. Oh, oh, and I said, you know, I know one time, I only let them say that, and I said, just push them out here. But I don't want to get me, and I want to wait on the Lord. Amen. 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 I took her in. Yeah. He said, it's coming. Yeah. It's coming. I might not get in every night, but I like to feel it every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, Lord. Come on, baby. Right, Lord. Right, Lord. Right, Lord. Right, Lord. Thank you. Right, Lord. Thank you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We might get down sometimes. We might get down, but don't forget who's on your side tonight. Yes, sir. Amen. Who's on your side tonight? I think we better. Oh, I think it's pretty good. Yeah. I think it's pretty good. Oh, I think it's pretty good. Oh, 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 Jesus. Well, Jesus. sometimes I thought the other night, feel me, I almost tender me for coming here. Come on, baby. I almost tender me for coming here. He'll hinder me if we listen to him. Almost he'll hinder you if we listen to him. He will, brother. I sure will. But that was the night that you prayed. Yeah. yeah. Amen. That won't you pray. That's right. Uh, but yeah. Jesus did. Amen. Yeah, bless the Lord. Still oh. holding on. That's right. I hope next year I come up here and she's still holding on. Hold on. I hope she's done like this. Yeah. Praise yeah. the Lord. Yeah. Well, yeah. Jesus be good to me. Yeah. Right. Brought me from a long way off. Yeah. Yeah. He's happy. He's happy. Come on, He's happy. Yeah. He's happy. Come on, He's happy. He's happy. He's happy. Lord. Come on. I said, I ain't leaving you. Lord, did you come let me? Yeah. Hope we said that tonight. Yeah. Hope we said that tonight. Yeah. Well, I'm just praying, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Bless me. Can I just sit down in my chair? I guess still sometimes I can't hardly get up now. But praise the Lord in hell. I said, Lord, please bother me sometime. I can't stand too long. But praise God in hell. Bless the Holy Ghost in hell. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for everything He's done. His name is wonderful.
don't have to tell them all your problems. That's right. You just tell them to Jesus. Amen. You don't have to lay it on Jesse. You don't have to burn him down with your problems. Just tell it to Jesus. You don't have to run a prophet down and tell him your problems. Just tell it to Jesus. Amen. And I just have my name Jesus tonight. Thank you, Lord, for what you've done. Man, Thank you for what you're going to do. Yeah. Thank you for what I've got to have for us. Pray the Lord, without faith, it's impossible. I need a little faith. I need a little faith. Faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. In my sickness, Oh, yeah. Preacher, you got sickness? Absolutely, I got sickness. <laughs> Absolutely. I got sickness, brother. Uh, brother. And I've seen him move. I've had him to move. That sister come from South Georgia. Okay, what's homecoming? I thought about what she said. She, it was like a stroke fell on me. Mouth, place, she couldn't stand up. I couldn't use hardly nothing in bad shape. She said her boy told her, Mommy, if you're going to do something, you got to do it now. you got to get to the doctor. So she went. Yeah. And that really couldn't, couldn't do nothing for her. Said it, it was some kind of disease like a stroke, couldn't do nothing for her. She said she'd come in church on that walker. She told this up there, okay, what? Come in on that walker. Marley couldn't get around. Brother Kenny sitting there. Said the Lord moved on her to go around the Bible stand. She said, when I stood up, my curls grabbed, the Lord grabbed me. She said, no, I got to do this on my own. I said, when she done that, that was an act of faith. Right. Yes. She said, I never had a run. But when she went around that Bible stand, she began to run. Thank you. She never failed no more. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. She never failed no more. Thank you, Lord. Doing good. Thank God. I probably ain't never told this, McKinley, to, to you. But I got in trouble out there in London that day. Look, copper me. Now, this happened to me. I was sitting there. I, I, I wasn't sitting there. I was fixing to sit there. On that set. Brother Jerry got up, didn't preach. But well, it's time to sit down. And when I sit down, that sickness hit me. You know what, Doctor? Yeah, Come on. I've had that sickness before. Yeah. That yeah. sickness yeah. started hitting. And when it done that, I popped back up on my feet. <laughs> hey, Amen. Just to try to have a little faith. All right. And it left and it never come back. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There you go. Thank you, Lord. It left and it never come back. Thank you, Lord. I was at Crockett one day. I was sick. They had to help me in there, Brother Ron. I, I had that stuff in my head out of balance. Brother Jesse, they had to pack me in there, Brother Benny and them. They said, bleed. It's hard to bleed when you can't feel something. It's hard to bleed when you can't feel something. But I got in there, brother Jesse. And I, they set me down and I laid my head in that pose trying to keep my balance. But all at once I felt the Spirit of the Lord. Right, I said all at once I felt the Spirit of the Lord. And I, I'm telling you that makes a big difference. I said that makes a big difference. I felt the Spirit of the Lord come to me station. And when I stood up, I said when I took that first step, that, that sickness, it was still there. I almost staggered. But right when I made that second step, All right. when I made that second step, when I made that second step, that second step I, mean, I used to sing a song, if you take one step, you take two. Yes, sir. When I made that second step, it vanished. I said it with a little bit of faith. Anybody need any faith in here? Anybody need any faith in here? Yeah. Oh, Lord. Yeah, Peter stepped out of the boat. Yeah, he walked. 
That was the hour of the Lord made me to come to you. Just come on then. Yes, he walked on the water. Yes, he walked on the water. But when he took his eyes off the Lord, and he looked around in all the waves. Come on, David. Woo! 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 So I said, my kids have done good. You don't know how the enemy's pressing their mind. You don't know how the enemy's pressing their mind. They need to feel God. Can I just preach how I feel? More than a game in their hand. Amen. Sitting on a game, I'll, they need to feel God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. More than staying on the phone all day, we yes, need to feel God. Amen. 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 Amen.
I met John's sister. His sister, he'll work in that wheelchair and she just talked to me. John, the other sister's kind of, you know, she's kind of getting on there because she just won't talk about the Lord. She wants to talk about him. She said, I've got a home life. Amen. And I'm ready to go. Thank you, Lord. That's so good. I appreciate you, Tess. Come on, you look good, Grandma. Thank you, Lord. Praise you,
He tried to more than once. I know he told me twice, maybe three times, that he had tried to kill himself. And he said, but I couldn't die. He said, I don't know why. And I said, well, I do. I know why. I said, because the Lord promised me my children, and you can't die until you get saved. And I thank the Lord for doing that for me. And I thank the Lord that he's going to bring him in one day. I'm looking for him to bring them all in. I'd yeah. like him to know that we're not letting him die off. I praise the Lord. Anybody else? 